The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, folks, we're going to run over some trades here that we're looking at and are going to be in soon. This is the live cattle February. Uh, this was the spot we were going to buy at today, but because of the hog and cattle report that's coming out at uh, 1 o'clock uh, Eastern time, which will be in a couple hours, it'll be after our show, of course. But uh, uh, we're trying to buy down here at the 61% retracement with our stop below here. Uh, this is fact is we got out of it at 69 and a quarter uh, several days ago. Uh, of course, it went up a tiny bit higher. And then what we're looking at is to possibly buy it back here. Now, we don't go into both hogs and cattle. The reason why if you do that, you double exposure for risk. And that's not what we're here about. We're here to making money, not losing money. That's the main thing. By the way, folks, I signed a contract for Las Vegas. It's either going to be with Tom Rugard or by myself. I don't know which. But if it's by myself, it's going to be for two days. I'm going to give you your breakfast and your lunch. And uh, if we lose at the end of those two days, you get your money back. How does that sound? All i got to do is clear it with the legal people at the SEC if I can still do that. And if I can, that's what I'm going to do. I've always wanted to do it. So by golly, it's on my bucket list. And so it's going to be a free ride for you, folks. We'll see what happens. The other thing that's about it is on Wednesday that in March – my good friend Taylor Swift is going to be giving a one-hour concert. And then to, the night after that, Celine Dion will be also doing a one-hour private concert for only our attendees. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll take the medication right after the show, folks. That part was a joke. Anyway, let's move on to the cattle. Let's move on to the gold market today. Uh, missed a good part of the gold market, but we made it up in a couple other markets. Here is the uh, gold. We were long here. Unfortunately, we got out of it uh, this level right in here yesterday, but uh, today I alerted everybody to this level right here at 2080. Uh, it's dropped down about 18 bucks from that level. That's a nice little three drive pattern right here at the 1.618 expansion, and uh, so we're going to see. I, I think gold is going to go a lot higher, folks. I'm just waiting to see what the next buy level is since we're here. Let's just take a look at the next buy level. There's our last major low down here at 2028. So we want to clear this out and see where our 382 is because if it's there, then guess where it is, folks? It's there. It just hit it. And then, oh, my gosh. Should have had that on. I'd be a buyer and put the stop below here. Gold is bullish. So is silver. They're probably going to go a lot higher. Okay. All right. Now, here's another one that we were in. This was the crude oil. Remember, we were long the crude oil, and I recommended getting out. And also, I said, I am going short at 74.62 with my stop at 85.10. Now, we've had a pretty big break to the downside. You'll notice here that we went long down here. There was a 382 right there. That was the 382 of the past move. There's the 61% of that move. You can see almost it. Let's draw it wrong. Shut the front door. Let me redraw that. Redraw it the right way, because I know I had my order setting in there. Yeah, there it is. Hit it exactly 44, and that all it did rally up going sideways. So uh, that's what I'm watching now. So that's let's pay attention to that one uh, for the uh, coming weekend and stuff. Not that there's anything political that could happen. Okay, now that takes care of that. Now let's get over and talk about the. Uh, soybean market we're going to try to get all of these if we can hold on just a second here this is the soybean market the jan beans and i uh, want to get the hourly chart up on that because that's what we were watching i believe yep there it is remember folks we're watching to be a buyer there's our buy down here at the 86 level now last night we had a rally and it got to do uh 1308 so the first thing i was watching is that going to be a a major factor well we had other spikes like this haven't we so my guess is just looking at this in the middle of the night nickel or diamond i bet you it's within a penny or two of you know what and you put your number in there 
and it hits the 50% of that number, and that means it's got to hit the 382 of the other number. And there it is right there, boys and girls, and that's where you have two numbers coming together. And you can see that leads us to getting down to this level right in here, making new lows on the daily, because you remember looking at the daily, there's some really strong support on this big ABCD right here. That's the one that you know, we haven't taken the, the, the lows out. With The low yesterday was 95. The low today was 94. I didn't even see that. Where is that? That's impossible. Well, I had the order at a different price. Yeah, here it is. It happened at, uh, no, 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 no. See, the low was here on the uh, 21st in the middle of the night. That's where it was. Yeah, because here's midnight. Yeah, so now we got to just see it. We cleaned out all those stops. So that means that we got a chance down here for a market that's going to be fairly easy to get into, getting back to that hourly chart. You'll see here that we want to be looking to be a buyer here at 88. There's your number right here. That's going to be from the last swing high to the low is going to be setting right at your, there's your 1.27. Ah, shut the front door and raise it. Let me get rid of some of these other ones that I don't need. I do these for teaching purposes. But the main, and by the way, the main focus of the Las Vegas is going to be to make money. I'm going to be teaching in between, but I'm going to, if it's by myself, I'm going to have three guests, uh, Jim Twentyman, my guest, uh, my oldest living trading friend. In fact, he's my oldest living friend other than well, other than my relatives and only a few of them are left. I've been friends with Jim for 61 years. And then also we're going to have Rich Anderson's going to be given a section on options. And then we're going to have Paula Doug Webblet. Paula Webb Douglas is going to give a two-hour presentation, one hour each day, on the psychology of trading and what it was like working with Mark for uh, the 33 years they were married. You can see here, and she, believe me, she did everything for him, all the proofreading and stuff. So that's what we're watching. We got a 382 off of this one, 50% off this. That tells us we're going to be going down a little bit lower. But that won't be until... I believe uh, they're good. everything's supposed to be closed on Globex night. That's uh, Christmas night. Um, that is on. Uh, that's on a Monday. It's Christmas, but no one Globex. They're probably open after three o'clock. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out myself. Okay, that's what we're watching at that level right here. Okay, yesterday we had a trade that we were looking at right here in the. Uh, <clears throat> remember the uh, na uh, natural gas. Uh, we had a nice break. There was the area. We didn't take that high out. Our stop would have been right here. There there was where it got down to right here, okay, last night. So all I was doing was watching to see where the 382 came in. And you'll see that it went just a little beyond it right here. But if you take it from the low, from your low to this level, right? Shut the front door. Come on, Larry. Let's get this act together. There's where we go. All righty, and where'd we go to? The exact 382 here at 41. Hey, let's take a little break. 877 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've been asked a question by... Uh, I don't think it's a new trader, but I think he's been around at least a little while. Never met met the man, but he's asked a question here that I'll try to answer. Uh, this is a 13-minute chart. Now, Mark used a 15-minute chart. The only reason I use 13 is because it's a Fibonacci number. There's no really real diff difference between the 13 and the 15-minute. But the question that he adds is, how do you pick the spots that you're looking at if you're swing trading in today? Well, here is the last week from the 18th to where we are right now. This is the whole trading week. There's Monday, here's Friday. And all you want to do is there's your first one right here. Now, there's a lot of ABCDs in here. Here's one right here. Now, I don't believe this is, for me, this is not a tradable ABCD. You can see that. I don't trade that one. What I will trade is I will trade the larger one. So the larger one, let's just get the little tool out here. There's your low right here. And there's your high right there. I'm going to draw it over so I can draw the high in quickly. So that gets you to that level right here. That would have been your profit objective, correct? But look at this. You also have another high exceeding that high and this low higher than this low. So now the trend has changed a little bit. So what you have to do is when you measure your next ABCD, you have to measure from your low okay, to the new high, which is right there. See that new high right there? It's going to move that over there. Put that down. Where does that take you? Right up to the high there at 125. All right? So coming down now, you have a high here. You've got a low here and a high here. So you want to draw that in just to see where we should be going. There's your A leg. There's your B leg. There's your C leg. It came within, oh, four pips of the low so we're still looking for this to be made so that's really what you're doing you're not interested in this right here even though the ABCDs are there there's no interest in that you see and of course this one here being a 13 minute if you if you really if you really get technical here you have a a nice move get rid of this on this way down you have a really strong rally here that lasted an hour so it's 13 minutes so that takes you to at least one hour, or actually almost two hours, right here. So that's going to give you an A, B, C, D to the downside. So you go from your A leg right here, 
to your B leg right here, your C leg right there. And there's the low that finally comes in. Now, you see this low is here, but because this high here is lower than that high, this is a valid ABCD coming in at 123.21. So this swing right here did complete right here. Now what we're doing is you're seeing here, if this is a bear market, and it might be, who knows, we have to look at the 382. There's a 382 right here at 124.01. And if you go back to the big high right back here, put that in, it's 124.04. So, you know, I would say 124.04, somewhere there, is probably all the higher you're going to get if the market is really bearish. Okay? I hope that helps, but that was the question that he answered, or that he had, and I'm trying to give it a uh, answer uh, right here. Okay, so we've covered that. Let's see one other one that I had here. I did the gold market already. I did the cattle market already. Let's just put these together so I can see what's going on here. And, oh, I know someone has a question about Tesla. Just a minute here. That thing's in the news all the time. I don't think it's done very much, actually, but let's get it up here so we can take a quick look at it. Here's Tesla. Let's get it up on a 30-minute chart so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, it's had a nice move. This is good. Get up here. Here's where we are now. Uh, let's let's just look at it right here on the 30 minute. Okay, get ready and look at it. We're still uh, well. We're still coming down, but let's see where we are. Let's do an hourly so we can see the whole thing, boys and girls. Okay, there's what we want to see. Get this over here like this, and here's where we are right now. And we'll just that's good enough. And all these ratios are built in, you know, but you you know, you can't trade all of these. That just shows you the you can see these numbers how they pop up. One, two, seven, six, one, eight, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, one, four, one, four, one, two, seven. You know, they're everywhere. So all I'm gonna do now is to get rid of them so that we can make some sense out of it and ask where Tesla's probably going to go. All right, now here's where we are from our high way back in September, if you'll remember. And we came down into October 27th, like everything else did. Look where we are now, folks. We were in a heartbeat over the last several days since the 15th. So it's been more than, uh, it's been exactly a week that we're here. Then we had another one and another one. So we are knocking at a really, really strong resistance level up here. You see how you take out the previous day's high? Had a you know bad day yesterday, and then look at this. You could go back one more time up here. So this is going to be really really interesting to see if if uh, Tesla can close above this uh, 261 level. So that's what I'm watching in uh, in Tesla. Okay, and one other stock that someone asked me about. Give me one second, and I will get it up here. I think I have it in here. Hold on, just a minute. Uh, here it is, Coinbase. Just get this up here. We'll do a daily on that. Because it was setting right at the, uh, let's get it right up here, right here. It's had this monster move. Oh, we're up a big today. This is good. We're up another seven points. So let's go to the weekly, and you're going to see that we are above the 382, folks. That's the first time we've done that in a long time. That actually could, uh oh, not necessarily. See what the old cowboy did? I took it off of this one right here, but I got to do this one too, because the all time high uh, was right there. And you'll draw that in. And we're almost on that one uh, right now. That's at 183.76. Uh, and the high has been 178. So it's still $5 away. But uh, we finally did uh, make it. But uh, we'll see where it goes from here. So I hope that helps. I, I had it drawn off of this one, which would have been right here. But we went through that like melted butter today. If you have sold it at 160 and it's at 171, Oh, this is a weekly chart. Look at the daily here. Let's see where we are here. Yeah, see, we 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 went through the 160 level, which is a 3A2, and that was several days ago, and that's why we're we're continuing uh, to go higher. So, the uh, cryptocurrencies are looking pretty good uh, as we speak right now. And then finally, someone asked a question about the wheat market, and I'll get that up here for a second. One second. Remember, Peter Lides will be our guest at the break, which is always a lot of fun. Where is the wheat? Here's the March wheat. Get it up here. Still in a pretty good downtrend, but I think we're getting ready for a pretty good bottom here. There's where we are. 
I'm going to blow it up a little bit so you folks can all see it at once. I'm going to blow it up really good because this will give us our pattern that we want to see. We've got an A, B, C, D for me here, folks. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg right there. That means that we're going to have a Gartley coming in here. It looks like just a tiny bit below the 61% level, 707. That price is 85, 585. Watch, uh, watch probably buying wheat at 585. To me, that's a good one. Let's take a break, folks. Peter Lighties is coming up with a little bit of luck, which I, we always have. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and stay with us. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I believe we have Peter Elides on the line today. Peter, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me, Larry? Oh, you're coming in perfect. I have a salutation for you from Beverly. She said to say hello. 
Uh, I was oh, uh, thank the, you. I was online the other night, Peter, because uh, you know that what you opened the day after Christmas in Los Angeles is Santa Anita Racetrack, and Eddie and I never missed that in 35 <laughs> years. And so I said I'm going to get two tickets just to see if I can go. So I went on, and I went through the whole process and everything. And the only thing that was available was on the infield where you have to sit on a blanket, and they were sold out. 30,000 tickets at 18 bucks a piece. You couldn't even get a seat. You had to sit on the grass so uh, yeah, I, 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 told, I called her up to tell her that and then she said to say hello to you so yeah, yeah. and he was a real he was a real horse racing buddy for me too I think I saw you guys out there more than once oh but it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty it's sad not, what's hap- pretty sad what's happened to horse racing I'm just completely oh, dead just yeah, gone yeah. The races, you're lucky if you get seven horses in a race anymore, which yeah. is bad. And they're, they're dying, too. We're losing so many thoroughbreds. You know, that's cycles, it. Larry. Yeah. Cycles. That's you're right, cycles. Bubba. You, yeah. you, you've taught me that for years. Peter, I have a question for you. Did you ever take a picture of that charting thing that looked like a Torah? Because, you know, last time I saw it was 35 years ago when you were still living in the uh, that the most expensive condo in North Hollywood. And it was, it, it was how much did it must what how much did it weigh when you were finally finished with it? Oh, my gosh. You know, I never waited, but it was it was pretty impressive. I could unwrap the thing and it would go across the across the uh, the floor, probably 30, 35 feet. Wow. Now, folks, what he did was he hand charted the Dow. It was a Dow Jones, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, initially it was data from the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, but ultimately it was the Dow. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever take a picture of it? You know, I wish I had, but I, yeah. I did not, Larry. I'm, I'm yeah, sorry I, about it. Now it would have been something yeah. to show my kids, but. To show everybody, Peter, not just your kids. Yeah. Yeah, this old yeah. this old cowboy would certainly love to see it again, that's for sure. Peter, since October the 27th, we've had this meteoric rise. It's been absolutely spectacular. What, what do you think is happening here, Peter? Well, I like to think, because of my overall view of the market, that this is the last gasp of, uh, you know, drawing people in, letting them think or making them think that, here we go again, man. There's no way you're going to stop this bull market. And no matter yeah. how bad the news or how negative you get, this market's going to go up and up. And, you know, they attribute it to, to factors like it's just a new world with artificial intelligence. You yeah. have to understand that it's not the same old world that it used to be. And that sounds very much like the story I heard in 2000, Larry, about <clears throat> the Internet and how it was yeah. going to change the world. And we didn't have to worry about valuations anymore. Oh, I remember that dot com boy. That was <laughs> yeah. The stock. Yeah. If the phone rang, it was crazy. It was stock crazy. Was, you know, 50%. <laughs> yeah. So he, here's stocks. one. Of the, here's, here's one of the things I want to point out. And we may have talked about this before, Larry, but I want to bring it up again. I found a very interesting ratio in the market. I took the ratio of the Nasdaq 100 which has been around for about 40 years as an index, and the yep. Dow Jones Industrial Average. <clears throat> and I made in what to me at the time, which was about a year and a half ago maybe, a uh, fabulous discovery that when that ratio got to 45% NDX over Dow Jones Industrials, the NDX was very overvalued and subject not only its subject to go down, but the mar- market subject to being at or close to a top. It happened in 2000. It happened again in November of 21, December of 21. It happened again in July of this year. And it, 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 we started pulling back from that, but we're still very, very close to that 45% ratio. And my contention is that as long as we are at that ratio, or around it, that the market's in trouble. Right now, as we speak, that ratio is 0.449, Larry. Wow. So that's pretty close, Peter. If you go back and look, all you have to do is look at the chart and you say, wow, every time we get up there, the market's been in trouble. So is it going to continue? I don't know. There are no guarantees. We know that in the market. The, The other pattern that I want to call to your uh, listeners' attention, Larry, is we look 
I'm always looking at longer term charts and longer term cycles. And when I say longer term in this case, I mean longer term. This is a chart that goes all the way back to the 1700s. Now, I don't know how reliable, don't know how reliable the data is, but it was gathered by researchers way, way back, maybe 30, 40 years ago from the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. Anyway, I think even if the data is not reliable from day to day, it probably gives a good general idea as to how capital markets did. And here's the comment I want to make on that. The two most important tops in the last few centuries, based on the ones that showed the largest decline after they hit their highs, were occurred in 1835 and 1929. Well, it just so happens that those are 94 years apart. Now, one iteration doesn't prove a cycle, but if we if you go forward 94 years from 1929, guess what year you come up with, Larry? <laughs> 2023, right here yeah. on the button. So that's yeah. point one. Point two is one of the other things that I look at cycle-wise is George Lindsay, the past cycle master. Yes had a yep. concept of bottom to bottom to top. He said that every important top shows a pattern of two preceding bottoms equally spaced. So in other words, just a simple example, if you have a, a bottom in, in 1900 and a bottom in 1910, then you look for a potential mm -hmm. top in 1920, 10 years later. Well, wow. how about this one? Probably one of the most important bottoms in stock market history occurred in 1842. You never went lower than that again. And it was the lowest point for, oh, probably 30, 40 years. So it went to a 30, 40 year low in 1842. When's the next time that happened? Well, you and I are acquainted with that. We're not, we're not quite that old, but 1932 was the next yeah. bottom. July the 5th, I remember, yep. Yeah. There you go. So 1842, 1932, and you go forward another iteration and you come up with 2022. Yeah. So by two very separate calculation techniques of long-term cycles, you come up with 2022, 2023. Well, uh, Peter, did you ever meet George Lindsay? I never met him. I wish I had. No. I, I did. I, I I met him through Arch Crawford. Do you know that he died on August the twenty fifth of nineteen eighty seven? That was the high of the market. And, uh, wow! I, I did yeah. not know that. I know yeah. that he called the. I know that he called. I think it was the bottom of the market on Wall Street Week in nineteen eighty two. He was on with Louis Rukeyser. Yeah. Hey, Peter, stay with time. us. We got to pay a few bills. Stay with us. We want to go through history a little bit more. Okay? Could you do that? Sure. We'll be right back with Peter Lydes, folks. Stay with us. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Peter Lighties. Peter, I don't know if you remember this. I met you in the late 60s, uh, same time that I met uh, Eddie, and uh, you were talking about Fibonacci at that time, and you told me, and this is one of the reasons I got interested in it, and not so much the market stuff until later, but the fact that if you had two people in the room, uh, like if you're giving a speech, and you picked the uh, birthdays, like one person was born on the 8th of the month, and the other person was born on the 30th of the month, if you added those together, uh, you would come out with 618 once you got to the seventh iteration. Do you remember that, Peter? I've I never forgotten. No, I don't remember that. I've done I some fascinating work with the Fibonacci, yeah. but I yeah. don't remember yeah. that one, Larry. Okay, what, well, here, what it was, as you said, you get two people in the room. Peter, I know it's you because you know, I've known you forever almost, but it was uh, – <laughs> It was uh, this was long before the F word was really popular. But if you have someone has the eighth as a birthday, the other person has uh, the thirtieth. So you have eight and thirty. You add those together, and that gives you thirty-eight. Then you add thirty-eight to the uh, thirty, and then thirty-eight to eighty. When you get down to the eighth iteration, adding them both together, no matter what you come up with, it's it goes back and forth from point six one eight ratio, nine. Yeah. It goes well, to that ratio I, to infinity, I, and I, it stays there forever. I, I do remember talking about that because I was yeah. amazed right around yeah. that time. I was amazed that I didn't relate it to birthdays, but you can come up with any two numbers, any yes. two numbers on the top of your head. And by the time you get to that iteration, it'll be yeah. the Fibonacci ratio all over again. I was amazed by that. Yeah, I was too. Now, I said, now while we're boy. talking this, I don't know if we have time to talk about We this, got all the time you want, my friend. Go ahead. Okay. So this is... What, because you mentioned the birthday thing, it's a birthday sucker bet. And I can't give you the exact numbers because it's been so long since I talked about it. But if you want a sucker bet to catch virtually anyone, unless they're really, really up on statistics, once you get more than 20 people together, I think, the odds are even money that two of them have the same birthday. It's and people will believe. say... Yeah, people will say, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's 360, I know how many days there are in a year. Once you get yeah. 20 of them, it's something like, it might be less than 20, but once you get up to 35 or 40 people, the yeah. odds are overwhelming that two of them will have the same birthday. Now, the difference is, you're not saying that you can pick someone out and say, when's your birthday, and someone else will have the same one. You're taking down the birthdays of every one of the people, 
and you'll match two of them almost certainly after you get beyond 20 people. I've done this many times, you know, the same thing. I believe the number is 30, Peter, as I recall. But uh, I don't think I've ever missed when I've had, you know, 50, 60 people in the room. And they're always excited that somebody in the same room has a birthday when it's supposed to be one out of 365. I've never figured yeah, that out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I, I used to do that when I worked in nightclubs in Hollywood. I would, you know, the, I, would, <laughs> I would sing a song and then I'd see, well, there's a book. 20 people out there, it's a quiet night, let's play the birthday game. <laughs> yeah. Peter, you don't remember, that. Well, maybe you do, but when you, first, when you were entertaining, you know, Speedy would take me down with you to, to see you play the, the instruments and sing and everything. God, I was so jealous of you. Because you were, you're, you're still a handsome fellow, but you look just like Burt Bacharach back in those days, and God, man, you were you were exciting. It was fun. The problem is you love the market more than you love the entertaining. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, music was always my first love, but I, I certainly... Uh, uh, I made the, the music a jealous mistress because I, the markets uh, completely overwhelmed me passionately, you know. Yeah, that's and I know that's true with you. I know that's oh, it's true. Been a, with you it's too, been a blessing I, for us, Peter. It's kept us young. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, kept us sure. young and kept us. I, I told my wife this. You know, I'm 84 years old now, yeah. and and I, you know, I look at Joe Biden and I agree with people. I don't. He doesn't know where he's going or what he's doing. I, I don't feel anything like that. I mean, maybe yeah. Biden doesn't either. But I mean, I yeah. think I have the I think I have the, uh, the, the you know, a way to back it up in terms of my intellect and what's going on yeah. in the world that, that I stay on top of, you know. Yeah. I had a question about that. Do you, you remember the five grand I let you about six years ago? Did you remember that? Yes, I did. <laughs> Peter, we have a question here from someone in the Tiger Den here, and that is, uh, do you recall the market uh, the market bottom in 1974 when we had the big double bottom, one in October oh, and then one in December? If I re don't ask me if I recall that bottom. <laughs> that bottom made my reputation, Larry. I that bottom, I, I was know. on at that time. I was on KWHY in Los Angeles Absolutely, from about the yes. middle of 74 to the end of 74 and by the fall of 74 maybe September or so I pointed out a 212 week cycle in the market and I kept showing at that time they didn't generate charts you know electronically oh, no, held no, up, we didn't. held up yeah. a chart in front of the audience said look at this chart and they were the old Mansfield charts and said, sure. well, look at this. And it was, you know, it was crudely represented with lines and, and handwritten numbers and whatever. Oh. But a 212 week cycle was due to resolve on the week of yeah. December 9th to 13th of 1974. On exactly December yeah. 9th of 1974, we hit a low that the market's yeah. never seen since then. And, the, and yeah, that, because I was advertising on TV, that got me started in, in the business. I remember, yeah. Steve Hart and uh, uh, Gene Morgan, all those guys, I mean, they all looked up to you because, boy, you were the master of it, that's for sure. That's really good. Listen, yeah, I know you're real busy, but nice. we're going to have you on again. But you really think that we're right near market high in this zone up in where we are right now? For me, December, January is going to be, yeah. you know, uh, because we have these resolutions, but, you know, they're, they're very long resolutions. We're talking about 90-year yeah. resolutions here, 94, yeah. and so they may spill over a little bit, but yeah. I, I'm thinking that uh, December, January, that, that we're going to get the trend begin then, and it may not be an immediate thing. Everyone gets, you know, everyone wants to be dramatic and call for yeah. a crash. It might not be. No, I, I, I don't see that. Yeah. On the other hand, it, it might be. I'm not saying it won't, yep. but I'm just saying you, you don't require that. All I'm saying is that prices 12 years from now are going to be at or lower than they are now. Okay. Yep. So wh when is that top going to come? I don't know, but pretty reliably by valuation methods, you can say we're going to yep. be lower 12 years from now. That's 19, yep. uh, 20, that's 2035. I'll be near my hundredth yeah. birthday, and, and yeah. prices, I believe, will be lower then than they we'll are. We'll have now. you on the show then. 
<laughs> yeah, let's and one set thing, up the thing. We, we don't have to worry about the 94-year cycle just this last time because the next one we're going to miss for sure unless some medical yeah, breakthroughs yeah, come yeah. through. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I don't want to live that long because I lose my friends. With Dave, the Jeff, uh, Eddie's horror son called me to tell me that he died. I don't like answering the phone when I see people's names on it that I know. That That's a little oh, scary yeah. for me. So yeah, I it's really you. good. And listen, I want to thank you and wish you folks a happy holidays and everything. Your wife's name is Susan, isn't it? No, my wife's name is Marie. Marie. Okay. All right. Yeah. She, as I recall, she had red hair. Am I correct with that? You're correct with that. You're yes, spot on. I remember. She was She's a knockout. A I remember that. Hey, listen, buddy. Happy holidays to you, and may God bless. And uh, I hope to hear you again after the first of the year, okay? Oh, well, Peter, anytime you, you have something really super, just drop me a note and we'll get you on right away. You know, because people great. love to eat. Thanks, Larry. Peter Lighties, folks. Thanks, Peter. May God bless. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, that was uh, Peter Lighty's, uh, my friend for many years. Folks, when I was, that was way back in the, her, my first meeting was in 66, and he was entertaining in the nightclubs in the L.A., Beverly Hills area, and uh, he played uh, the piano, 
the guitar, the saxophone, and the clarinet, and God, was he good. And not only that, he was a good singer and dancer. He could hold an audience in the palm of his hand. The problem was he loved the markets a lot more than he loved the entertaining. But uh, what a musical wizard he was. He was so good. at uh, just, a, just an honor just to be hanging out with him. That's why when I talk to him these days, I remember the days. Because you remember, I... I was just I was just a trader. I didn't have any following or anything back in 73, 74 and he, he certainly did because KWHY in uh, it was eventually became Financial News Network. Uh, Merrill Lynch came in and bought it out the WHY KWHY in Los Angeles and then that turned into CNBC because uh, Sue Herrera went back with the idea and said let's do the you know financial news network worldwide and they took it right away that's how it all started with the it was uh, uh, Sue Herrera and uh, Ron and Sana and Bill Griffith those were the three that started the whole thing so that's where it came from I still in contact with, with Bill Griffith of course but uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what we're going to be looking at. So remember, our guest here on Tuesday, where everybody's going to be closed, and I believe Globex is closed Christmas night. On Monday, it's supposed to be closed Christmas night, but I, because of half the world, more than half the world is uh, non-Christian, you're probably going to see the markets open, but I don't know for sure. I, would, I didn't check it. But what I will do when I send my videos out and the newsletter this weekend, I will alert you to the fact that what will be the global – uh, trading hours for Globex on Monday the 25th. We'll do that. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and for God's sake, please help people. We'll talk to you folks. Thank you very much for joining us today. 